one woman said, he said, oh, it has nothing to do with me, but if you go to England for an abortion, I'll paint murderer on your house. Sometimes, you know, somebody will call us who's actually considered taking their own life out of desperation. Every year we hear from at least a dozen women who've done seriously dangerous things to try and self-terminate. One of the ones that sticks out in my mind was a mother of three who'd never used drugs in her life, who went out and scored heroin in the hopes that the shock to her system would cause a miscarriage. I would say the largest group of clients that we have are women in an escaping abusive relationships. And generally we can tell without them even telling us because it's, it's an email and they ask us only to contact them by email or we can tell that the voicemail is like whispered into a mobile phone in a back garden. A woman who contacted us, she had a number of children and she contacted us and we had everything all set for her to come over and then she disappeared. We reached out one last time and then we let it go because we don't face people. And she never got back to us until a year later. And she said, oh, yeah, I couldn't come over that time. He beat me so badly, I couldn't travel. But I'm pregnant again, can you help me? Our clients have ranged in age from a woman of 53 who thought it was the menopause to a girl of 12, a child of 12. Every time we think we've heard the worst story we've ever heard, we hear a worse one. And if there's four words I never want to hear again for the rest of my life, it's a pregnant 12-year-old forced to travel to England for an abortion. What I do know is the law makes it so that when faced with an unplanned pregnancy, women with money have options and women without money have babies, uh, face up to 14 years in prison for taking safe but illegal early medical abortion pills, or fearful of the prosecution, do really dangerous things like drink bleach or ask their boyfriends to punch them in the stomach. But the thing is, is if you live in England and you find out you're pregnant, you have time. You have the luxury of time to figure out, is an abortion right for me? If you have any issues, you have time to work through them. If you're a woman in Ireland or Northern Ireland or the Isle of Man and you find out you're pregnant, you are plunged into this like, Oh my God, what do I do? Where am I going to get the money? How am I going to get the time off work? Are people going to know? Are people going to judge me? Part of me feels like I shouldn't have to sit here and tell people how horrible it is for people to have to travel for abortion. Making abortion against the law doesn't stop it. It only makes it so that the most vulnerable are put at the most risk.